What's going on guys? I'm at the DigiGrid booth. This is Luke with Waves and uh, we're here talking about all the new products that uh, DigiGrid offers. Uh, it's a partnership between DigiCo and Waves. And so DigiCo makes some really great hardware components, uh, mic pre's, converters, clocks, all part of their large format digital console technology. And Waves makes really great audio processing tools. We've been doing it for over 20 years. Um, and we also got a DSP component that already now works with DigiCo consoles. It's called the SoundGrid system. So we basically um, repurposed that technology, modified it, enhanced it to create an entirely new product line. And that's what DigiGrid is. DigiGrid's got uh, a few boxes for native DAW users. So let's take a look at those right here. We've got the iOS, iOX, and IOC. Uh, iOS is an all Ethernet based audio interface, it's Core Audio and ASIO compliant. The iOS is a flagship because it's got eight mic pre's, eight line outs, it's got digital I.O. And it's also got a built in DSP server and a built in Ethernet switch for expandability. The iOX has 12 mic pre ins and six line outs, also Ethernet connection to the computer, so we're talking low latency here, that's a big point. IOC it's got a different I.O. configuration. It's got 16 AES EBU I.O. It's got uh, line I.O. And then it's also got ADAT I.O. So whatever native DAW you're using, this might be a cool new interface option for you. And since I said the iOS also has a built-in DSP server, that means you can run all your Waze plugins uh, without taxing your CPU at all. Now, we also have the coming over here. The MGB and MGO, and these are available uh, shortly. And these are actually really high-powered MADI interfaces. So these are also Core Audio ASIO compliant, Ethernet to the computer. Excuse me, Ethernet to the computer. And then we have two MADI streams in and out. So that's 128 channels in and out of your DAW via MADI. This is very cool too because if you want, you can throw it on an Ethernet network, add an existing Wave Sound Grid server. And then you have both processing and MADI I.O. at your disposal. And then the final two products we've got are these DLS and DLI. So the DLS is and DLI are specifically for Pro Tools, TDM, and HDX customers, right? We've got uh, the DLS as a built-in SoundGrid server. So it's giving us uh, uh, real-time processing within Pro Tools systems. And uh, it's going to add a little more DSP power. And when you're tracked from a record arm, you hear no latency in your headphones. Now with the DLI, that actually converts DigiLink I.O. into the SoundGrid Ethernet network. So that allows you to share DigiLink I.O.s, send a DigiLink I.O. to either a native or a Pro Tools TDM or HDX computer, and uh, take advantage of all the really flexible routing options that SoundGrid has. So we're excited about the video, up to 300 plugins, instances of waves. Okay. Um, does that include, let's say, your SSL, your API? We use a fairly uh, processor intensive one, uh, like a C4 a lot of times for a benchmark, which is a multi band compressor that we have. Uh, and so all that stuff, the CLA, the, the analog modeling stuff, is actually less processor intensive than that C4. So we say 300 plugins, that's pretty much every plugin we make. Except for, shall we say, maybe some of the noise reduction plugins, like X noise and Z noise, which are very processor intensive, but for good reason. Well, there's yeah, a lot of noise out there. These exactly, days. exactly. You got to filter that out. Um, street price uh, of all these boxes. So we're. Prices are over here, or iOS around three grand, and then the other box is between 22 and 25. This one's going to be around two grand, and uh, same thing here, between 22 and 25, and then around three grand on this side. All right, I'll take two. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Thank you.